life you should only be doing two things ever and one is like discovering what your passion is and then two is realizing it so you gotta come to the truth of knowing who you are and why you're here your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to do great work is to love what you do and then learn how to love to lose failure starts to put a fire inside our stomach if you are good enough nobody's stopping you not fucking donald trump not the fucking russians nobody your dream is possible. If you are a minority, if you are a female, if you are transgender, if you're a fucking alien, the market doesn't give a fuck. Fuck yeah. If you make the best shit, you will win. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over. That's okay. gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Maybe the thing you're most scared of is exactly what you should do. Maybe this is actually what you should push yourself into. I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. You never give up. I believe that is an absolute necessity. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. Don't hold yourself accountable to arbitrary bullshit fantasies. Just put in work and enjoy that. Enjoy eating shit and dirt and bleeding and the grind and don't give a fuck about what anybody else thinks, why you haven't done it, why are you doing that. Work, train, learn. Can't do it. Don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. So, why do I think a lot of you don't do shit? Because you value other people's opinions of you. Why do I think you have that? Because you weren't given self-esteem as a kid. One of the biggest reasons I act like a big shot is because I want kids to become fans of me so that I can then become the shield for them to have confidence to do good things, not bad things. Because if I'm cool, then they're not talking about Ferraris and fucking gold watches. They're talking about hard work, humility, empathy, and kindness. I feel like I'm at my highest point when I'm with the people that surround me every day. They provide the real positive influences in my life. We all want to help one another. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. The greatest thing is love. When we feel like we don't have enough love, and we don't have enough hope, we start losing strength to live. <laughs> this is what life looks like. A home where people who love each other. Safe place. You should take a moment and feel it. To help him. We need to help. What the fuck is wrong with you, Matt? You'd rather die for some piece of shit that you don't even fucking know. The three assholes laying into one guy while everybody else watches. And you want to know what's wrong with me? Yeah, I'd rather die. So bring it on. I'm still willing to fight and die. Don't get caught up in the bad things, please. There's so many great things out there for you. There are no walls. Find your peace. Make your walls doors. I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself. I think the greatest of people in society carved niches that represented the unique expression of their combination of talent. You know what makes you perfect when you feel someone's pain, and how beautiful pain is that it connects you with people. You're not alone. In this world, there's room for everyone. The good earth is rich. We need kindness and gentleness. When you don't get a miracle, 
you can still be a professional now.